Thor, the son of Odin, is the Norse demigod played by Chris Hemsworth in the upcoming movie Thor 2 The Dark World. The character Thor may have super strength, immunity to illness, and an extended lifespan, but let's be honest here, the only reason why he's awesome is because of the hammer. In Norse mythology, Thor's hammer is called Mjolnir, which literally means that which smashes. Mjolnir is what gives Thor his ability to fly, control lightning, and also kick the crap out of any villain that he chooses. So what would happen if this actually existed in real life? Let's start off with the composition of Mjolnir. The hammer is said to be made from a neutron star. Well, the first problem is that a neutron star is really, really, really dense. In fact, if Thor's hammer were to be made out of the neutron star exclusively, it would have a mass of about 1.5 quadrillion kilograms, or about 300 billion elephants. That is a frightening amount of mass, and what makes it even scarier is that Thor throws this thing at people. After watching the film, it's fair to say that Thor throws the hammer at an average speed of about 50 meters per second. If for whatever reason this hammer were to hit you in the face, it would hit you with about 1.875 quintillion joules of energy. Okay. This is about the same amount of energy of the asteroid that made the dinosaurs go extinct. The lesson to learn from this is don't piss off a demigod that can cause a mass extinction by hitting you in the face. Another cool thing Mjolnir does is that it allows Thor to fly. He does this by throwing it as hard as he can and holding on for dear life. While Thor is flying through the air, he can reach speeds of up to Mach 32. To put this in perspective, the fastest man-made thing ever recorded on Earth was the North American X-15 rocket-powered aircraft, and it topped out at about 4,519 miles per hour or in other words, about one-fifth the speed of Thor. Lastly, Thor can use his hammer to conjure lightning from the sky. This lightning can generate an estimated one million megawatts of power, while the strongest Earth-made battery can generate only about 46 megawatts of power and is used as a backup source of electricity for a small city in Alaska. Oh, and by the way, Mjolnir is generating enough power to heat the surface of the hammer to hotter than the temperature of the surface of the sun. So whether it's flying, hitting someone with the force of an asteroid impact, or conjuring lightning for just for the fun of it. One thing is for certain, Thor's hammer is pretty damn awesome and I wish I had one. So thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below. I wish I had Thor's hammer. I really want Thor's hammer. That would be really cool.